Here's a question that I thought about asking. Could an incel be a person that's unlucky and loved? Or would you guys consider that something different? Or could a person that um, is unlucky and loved turn into a so-called incel? Does an incel always have to be a narcissist, um, male chauvinist, woman hater? Or can an incel be just a person that has been rejected by women um, to the point where they, you know, they don't feel us they don't feel violent towards women or anything like that but they just feel hurt and rejected because they just don't really have that thing going on in their lives um can an incel be a person that really respects women um or do they always have to be blatantly hating all women what about those who get rejected and maybe I'm probably I probably shouldn't use incels or or just you know maybe I should start using the term unlucky in love. What about those that have been rejected and they just basically you know they never want to disrespect any women, but they just they just feel like heck you know I don't know what to do. Are they less confident? You have a lot of females that will tell you this, and even a lot of males that will say, well those guys are not confident because they're not getting anyone. I myself don't believe that. I think it is what it is. And a person that's rejected just has to deal with that um, for what it is. And, and even if they feel a certain way, even if they feel hurt. So I'm curious. So would a person be unlucky in love and an insult or, or like would that be hand in hand or what? Um. I'm probably going to come back to this particular subject matter. I've done it before and just kind of trying to process certain things. Also to more or less give a voice to those that, um, sorry, I always get messages that aren't probably the most lucky when it comes to, you know, um, in the whole trying to date area or whatever. Um, I can't speak for women, and I know there's women that have been rejected as well, but I can't speak for their experience because I'm not a woman. But I'm speaking for like a lot of guys that that that's happened, but they don't fit what people consider an incel. They don't hate women. They're not narcissists. They don't think that they're entitled to women. And when people tell you this thing where it's just like, they want to make it look like as if men think that they're entitled because they're attracted to someone. That's not always the case. It's not an entitlement. That's just a natural thing. If a person likes someone because they're a woman and they're rejected, it is what it is, you know? Like, it's not like they feel like they're entitled to that person, you know? So a lot of feminists say that, and I think that's just very disingenuous, you know? These same feminists will, will basically contradict themselves in other ways when it comes to that but no nah, it's not an entitlement thing at all it's just natural you know and I would say the same thing for any woman that might feel a certain way but if it happens it does and if it doesn't it doesn't you know that's the way that a lot of us men should be taking it um, the no entitlement or anything like that it's just natural to feel you know, for someone that you're attracted to. And if they reject you, you know, it's natural to feel sad. Nothing's wrong with that. What's not cool is if you take it to a step further and try to harm that person, that's when it becomes very toxic and evil. But if a man feels a certain way, nothing is wrong with that. Anyway, you guys... I don't get a lot of freaking dialogue. I don't know what's going on, but I'd like to get that dialogue if y'all are interested in talking. Peace.